Uh. Yeah, I see them in the street struggling, young, dumb, and thugging, give a fuck about nothing. Stuck at rock bottom, trying to come up on something. Pumping from sundown to sun. What's up, guys? Street Justice here. Well, back with channel. We're back with a reaction to Chucky, the season one, episode six, Kate Queer. Interesting title for sure. I can only assume that Jake and Devin are going to be the central focuses of the episode based off that title because last time around, we kind of officially saw them become a thing. They had a few nice moments there. My favorite part of the last episode, though, was probably the Chucky trash can beatdown when we had Lexi, Jake, and Devin all working together. Together, the new Scooby gang. I love the fact that they're working together now to take down Chucky, but as they thought they were stopping him out, obviously it wasn't the real Chucky. He already changed his bodies. I thought it was absolutely hilarious. That's one thing about this show, or this season at least, that I feel like it's doing a fantastic job with not only blending the comedy with the horror, because the stakes are high enough where there's actually a body count in the show, so there's actually a reason to be concerned for a lot of these characters. Like, they can go at any point in time, so we already saw one kid die, so they're clearly not scared to kill off kids, but we only have three episodes to go, guys. I'm excited for this next one. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you guys are looking for my full reactions to the show, link to my Patreon is down in the description below. If you're not subscribed to the channel, now's a very good time to click that button down below. Smash the like button while you're there. With that said, let's jump right in. Let's check it out. Let's go. Who this? Whoa, they're coming in strapped. I got some stiff walks yeah. too. Is this the Morrison residence? Yeah. We're from the US Census. We have a few minutes of your time. It's important to be represented. Any fires or major injuries, freak accidents? God, no. They're going around yeah. investigating, make sure um, so Chucky hasn't been there. Any new dolls? The house. Is that the yeah, actress from part two? Exactly. That's wonderful. If it is, <laughs> wow. I'm actually attention. really impressed. They brought her back for this. This is everybody. This is Buck Okay. They're safe. Lexi They're good there. Wait. I forgot Charlie. Oh. Charlie. We'll get him. He's got dirt on his hands. Doll busters. I'm kind of loving this, so. Those people today. What if they talk? You and I both know nobody's gonna believe them. It's never gonna be the same. It had to be Come done, on. though. Besides, you and me went through a lot as kids. Come on! Yes! I was right. Okay, so there's just one left, right? Yeah. One doll left. Chucky broke his soul into pieces, but the last piece had. Didn't go into a dog. Rachel Fairchild, you're under arrest. Where is this coming from? You should have told him about Chucky. Yeah, really, because I've always wanted to be institutionalized. I have an idea. Andy Barkley. Who's Andy Barkley? Yes, He's come together. His babysitter was murdered. He always said Chucky did it. The Scooby the Gang is going to grow. Everything. It all comes back to Andy Barkley. It won't close. It won't close. It won't close. You're the body disposal expert. You see the hand sticking out? Dispose. I am disposing as best as I can. <laughs> there you go. Smaller pieces, you can cut them yourself. It's like getting flashes. Uh -huh. 1960 Pontiac Parisian. Okay, we're going road. back. Back when bigger 87, good okay. year. Unfortunately, this car was, there was an accident. What happened? Christine. The young couple uh, got killed. I'll take it. Really? In a true classic, never goes out of style. It's not vintage. He's gonna kill you now. Or retro. And steal it. Or an antique. It's just old. Kind of like you. Should've just left. But don't worry. We're gonna give you another paint job, too. <laughs> wow. Broad daylight, too. People are probably out there mowing their lawns. What's that? It's a hobby. There's something I have to tell you. And there's no easy way to say it. It's, um... This is brutal, man. It's cancer. You're gonna be okay. Right? You're gonna be okay. I don't know which way Junior's character is going to go now. If he's going to like start lashing out. Go to a darker place. I don't know. 
I lost my mom when I was younger as well. It's not easy. Oh my boy. I'm all in. <laughs> I'm all in too. Who's gonna win? Hello, Mika. Is it Chucky as a bluff? Oh, Chucky bluffs. I stabbed you in the thigh 10 minutes ago. You didn't feel a thing. Oh, if it had been Chucky, he would have screamed like a banshee. So she went paralyzed again. What are you going to do to me? I don't know. That's an interesting question. You see, the thing is... She's still going to stick it out of her. I spent some time with you. I spent some time with Chucky. And I got to say, I like you better. I love her craziness. Something about her. <laughs> That'll do it. It's not an Insta. Don't snap. Not on Twitter. I just feel like everything's falling apart right now. You know? My mom. My uncle. You're not us. I'm always here for you. Hey, Lexi! It's on Facebook! I just feel like you're somewhere else these days. She's got some other stuff going on. What the fuck, Lex? It's like I don't even exist to you anymore. They're gonna have to bring him in eventually. It's over. We're done. Holy shit. Please don't do this, we can fix this. I'm just kidding. Damn. It's like I was saying, I don't know where his character is gonna go. He's had enough of this shit though. Andy Barkley? Jake Wheeler. Where are you? Uh, in a kitchen in Hackensack? You know about Chucky and you're still alive. Makes you one of the lucky few. It's a shitty club to be in, but welcome. You. Mm. And if he can't find you, He'll go after your whole family to get to you. Well, text me the address. This, this is the place. Congratulations, Thank Miss Dilly. We have big plans for this place. We? It's a fixer-upper. Yes. Me and my fiance will be moving in immediately. It's just been empty ever since. Ever since the murders. She's so aware. It's your fiance's parents that did it. <laughs> I almost She's like, off. right. We've already started getting some Let's get this con. Yeah, she got creeped right out. For now, <laughs> Welcome home. She's so giddy about it all, too. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. It's for your own good. Read up. Got a lipstick kiss. Or top the tape. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> I still don't know how they came to this conclusion that the teacher did it. I want my lawyer. Someone's on their way. You were the last person to see Principal McVeigh alive. You were next in line for her job. We found your fingerprints everywhere in the office. Oh, and then there's your juvenile record. Just wait for your lawyer. You're gonna need one. The recent murders are the way the murder went about too. You think she's gonna toss the head out on stage in front of everyone and then take her job afterwards? Come on now. Mom. Mhm. What do you talk about in there? All the things we don't talk about at home. You guys actually let me know that she was a star of Jason X also. Mm -hmm. I knew I recognized the face. I just right did not put the two together. <laughs> He's there. The important thing is for me to savor what time I have left. And welcome whatever's waiting around that corner with open arms. What's well, around the corner? <laughs> I've decided dot dot dot. <laughs> Chucky, no. Is he gonna kill her right now? Oh. Yo. Man, I can't believe they just did that. They killed her off just like that. I'm not happy with that death. I know it's a lot to process right now. She didn't say anything. Fuck! She didn't say anything to you? 
You're a fucking therapist. You didn't see any signs. She can't say anything. I can't believe they killed her off. Chucky, you fuck. If you ever need to talk, don't hesitate to call. That was the first death where I legit feel bad. Every other time I'm like rooting for Chucky. Like, yes, Chucky, do your thing. That one, she didn't deserve to die, man. Junior. Well, I guess no one did. I think your mother killed herself. Stay the fuck away from me. We were fine before you came home. I know that I was wrong about Jake. And I'm sorry. I should have trusted you. Hey, Mom. She's definitely trying, but... Yes. She always gets it wrong. Terrible police officer, detective, whatever position. I was worried you were looking at me the same. Honey, this doesn't change anything. You're my son. That's cool. And I'll always love you. Nobody chooses their sexuality, you know. I miss our movie nights. Maybe next week we could do a double feature. You can invite Jake. Maybe. This is too nice, though. Too sweet. I feel like... Chucky's gonna be going after him next now. Especially that he's gone so close to Jake. He's gotta protect himself. Chucky's out there. I don't know if the Holy Ghost sneaks in. What? She's our alarm. He's quoting it. I have an alarm and it's from this century. That's the bait. Where's Junior and your uncle? Funeral home. Why aren't you with them? They need to be alone. So do we. This vantage point is upstairs. My room. Rock, paper, scissors? Seriously? Oh, those two or three. Just, just, just We're going to see a showdown this episode? Right? I feel like they're going to make us wait. I don't know how much time is left. Answering? Yeah, I talked to my mom. Told her I'm into someone. How, how'd she take it? Now that she knows you're not a psycho, she's cool. <laughs> it moved! Chucky's here. Oh shit. Those little footprints. That never happened in Cape Fear. We haven't seen him scurry this episode. Could have never fit down the chimney. No, oh, dude. He was totally ripped the map. Where the hell is he? I heard his laugh before. There's the scurry. I was gonna say, we didn't get one this episode. We've gotten one, I think every episode so far is super effective too. Oh no, round two with Lexi? This is so intense. You never know what his next move is. Where is he? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, it's on now. Oh shit! I got you now, bitch. But I'll let you go on one condition. All you gotta do is kill Jake. Let's put them against each other now. Everybody's gotta die sometime. That's true. She's <laughs> going along with it. She's like, hey, that 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 is a good point there. <laughs> Devin. That was just like a charge attack. Devin, are you here? Mom? Yo! He's killing everybody's mom this episode. The show is fucking nuts. I'm telling you, every single time. Oh, that was another fantastic episode. All right, guys, that was Chucky. Season one, episode six, Cape Queer. We lost two moms this episode. The first one was actually really sad. I think it was Bree. Man, I really didn't want to lose her. And I was just talking to right before, right before we actually lost her and right before she came out with it, absolutely everything to her family as well. Man, to have the, her do that this episode, then kill her off, you guys suck. Chucky especially, that was freaking brutal, man. But 
I will say, you guys let me know that she was actually the star of Jason X that I had no freaking clue, no idea of. I definitely did not make that connection at all, even though I've seen Jason X many, many times. Such a fun film. It's not a great film by any means, but it's a fun movie. I definitely enjoy it with a few drinks here and there, but uh, man, I definitely did not make that connection at all. I haven't seen her since that film. Maybe she did star in some other things, but I definitely didn't recognize her. So yeah, now that you guys let me know that, now that I know that, we, we lose her in the show, so that really sucks because, yeah, I really started to actually care about her character, especially after last week's episode or the last episode that I watched where it was actually revealed that she does have cancer, that she's dying, man. To kill her off, a dying woman, a woman that's dying of cancer, that's freaking brutal, man. This show is ruthless, like nobody is safe. Then this same episode, too, I was like, I was so close to saying it at the very end of the episode, Right before Devin's mom showed up there at the house, I was going to say, like, all right, we've already lost one character this episode. Obviously, everybody else is safe. They're not going to kill off two characters in one episode. And then literally, like, one minute later, that all goes down. So this show is crazy, man. You never know what to expect going in these episodes. Like, they are throwing a lot at us right now. I love that you kind of know the direction that it's going. Like, with Jennifer Tilly showing up now, buying the place, Chucky's old home, showing up with Nika. And now Nika's kind of figuring out things. And then Jennifer Tilly's also figuring out Nika. That whole scene there, too, where they're kind of playing off each other. They're both kind of faking it there, playing the other one. Like, that scene was incredible. I love Jennifer Tilly, man. I haven't really seen much of her in recent years either, but... There's something about her, especially with her playing this character. I know she's kind of playing herself now. I definitely had questions about that also. So I'm glad that they answered pretty much my questions of how that came to be. Why is she in the show? Why is she... I thought she was dead, but no, they basically answered all that. I didn't even have to go back and watch Curse or Cult over again, which I still plan on doing in between seasons. But they kind of let us know right at the very start of the episode where they're like previously on, but it was actually Jennifer Tilly doing the previously on voiceover, which was great. And then she kind of explained the whole backstory and how she came to this point. So that was super cool. I also mentioned Cape Fear. Uh, I never, I've never, i never actually seen that film. I might have seen parts of it when I was a kid, but I definitely don't remember it at all. Obviously, the episode title was play on that film title, but they showed, Alyssa, they showed a few clips from that film as well. I guess that came into, it definitely played a major part later on in the episode where they're all setting things up, setting up the traps and stuff for Chucky, waiting for his arrival with all the, the fish line and everything. That was super cool. I really like, man, every single time Chucky is on screen, all the Chucky action that we've been getting in the series, I'm genuinely impressed by because I've, I've told you guys like numerous times now, going into this series, I'm a Chucky fan. So I was just basically looking forward to just the quips and stuff that we got out of Chucky. And I knew that Brad Dorf was going to be doing the voice yet again. He's still going to be a part of this series. So I was really looking forward to seeing what he does in this show. But all the Chucky action that we've gotten in this series, I'm genuinely impressed by and kind of blown away by it as well because the stuff that we've gotten in this show might be the best Chucky action out of all the films, uh, basically out of everything involved with Chucky, this might be the best Chucky we've gotten yet, which is kind of surprising and kind of crazy to say. Oh, I didn't even mention either. Never mind Jennifer Tilly and Tiffany, the return of them, and Nika also. Andy Barkley has officially made his appearance in the show, which was great to see. I knew right away, I think it was the very first or second episode of the series, when he did the voice, he, made, he actually called Jake. I knew it was him, or I was pretty sure. I was like 99% sure that it was him. Now, for him to actually appear in the show, and along his side was also, I forget the name, but it was the girl from part two. And I was actually going to look it up between... Uh, actually, right after the episode ended here during my recap, I was going to look up the kind of confirm, make sure that it was her, but they did that for us. They actually showed us a flashback this very same episode also. So, man, I, it, the fan service in the show is absolutely incredible. I don't know if there's another franchise that have given us as much fan service as they've been giving us, and I'm on board with it. I am absolutely loving it. I think the only other series that I can even say comes close to like the fan service in regards to media from the films and TV show would be Evil Dead. I also really like that show as well. And I also, I'm a huge fan of the game. I bought the collector's edition of the game, got the Savini skin of Ash. So yeah, I'm genuinely impressed. I can't say that enough, can't express that enough, how well the show is doing. It's kind of blowing me away by not only, it's very much in the same vein as Scream 2022 as well. And pretty much what they said in that film where nowadays, 
Fans will get pissed off. You can't just do a complete reboot. You gotta kind of go back in line or keep it in the same chronicle, chronological order of things. Even if you're gonna do it like a refresher, fans are always on board for a recall, but they don't want a flat out reboot where it basically erases all the previous memory and everything that came before it. And that's pretty much what they're avoiding to do in a show, which, and it pays off, man. The show is absolutely fantastic. The fact that they're not like completely just sweeping everything that came before this under the rug, this this episode alone, honestly, they reference so freaking much. Cult of Chucky, Curse of Chucky, Child's Play 2. They even mentioned killing Chucky killing off their foster parents. Man, the fact that they're going that far to explain that and just sprinkle that in there in the show, I can't help but praise them for that. So not enough franchises do that. I feel like they always want to just reboot things and just kind of forget about the past. This show is doing such a fantastic job of keeping the past in line with the present and keep on they keep on bringing it up and they're like oh you forgot about this here's a flash here's a flashback we're going to remind you just kind of uh show you once again so i can't thank them enough for that they're doing a fantastic job with everything that they are bringing back into the show and referencing over and over again and kind of just making it making sure that we are familiar with the past in the show for the present i even let you guys know curse of chucky and cult of chucky those are the two films in the franchise that i'm least familiar with that i think i've only seen each of them one time so that's why i do want to go back and watch either each of them i'm probably gonna do that in between seasons but i might react to them i'm not 100 sure of that if i'm gonna do that just yet so let me know guys if you guys want to see me react to those because two more episodes to go and then yeah i'm probably gonna be just checking those out for myself if i don't react to it i'm very at the very least going to be watch them for myself going to season two so that way i have everything down pat every time i forget something they actually show us a flashback and they actually show us the particular scene that they're referencing from the previous films which i can't thank them enough for but yeah everything that's coming together this episode man I can't wait because we only have two episodes to go now. There's the penultimate episode, then the season one finale, and everything is coming together. We got Andy and his sister for part two. They're making their way back now, and I don't know how far away they are. They definitely let us know, like, their location, but I don't know in terms of Hackensack and I think it was, like, Illinois or somewhere how far away it actually is, but... They're making their way over. They're pretty close now. Jennifer Tilly, she just arrived with Nika. She's in town. She just arrived at Chucky's old place. So she's in town now. So everybody's going to come together in these final two episodes. And honestly, I don't know how it's all going to play out. I got to say, I don't think out of the kids, they're all going to make it. I think Devin's going to be killed off because now that he's gotten so close to Jake, I don't think they're going to kill off Jake unless... They're planning on somebody else being the star of season two. I don't know if he does come back for season two or not. I let you guys already know that. I did see the poster for season two, but it's just Chucky sitting on a throne. So I don't know what characters are going to make it out of season two. And I'm genuinely wondering which one, who is going to survive. It would be a shocker if they killed off Jake. I really don't think they're going to do that. Lexi, I wouldn't be surprised if they kill off her, but I really think it's going to be Devin just because he is so close to Jake. And it's almost like they don't want him to have a happy ending, or at least Chucky doesn't. So I don't know. I feel like if anybody's going to be killed off next or before the season wraps up, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Devin. I don't think they're going to kill off Andy. They might kill off his sister from part two. I wouldn't be surprised by that. So yeah, those are my two picks as of right now before the season is up. I'm thinking Devin because there's no way that Chucky's going to let Jake be happy. There's no way that this season's going to have a happy ending. Obviously, I don't know if it was already greenlit at the time when this first season ended, but I feel like they're going to do something that kind of lets us know that Chucky's going to be back for second season because obviously there is a second season. I just, didn't, I just don't know if it was actually revealed at the time going into or when this season did wrap up if there was or if he was going to be coming back for second season. But I feel like there's definitely going to be a cliffhanger of some sorts and I just definitely don't see it ending on a happy ending. So yeah, those are my two predictions right now. I think it's going to be Devin and the sister from part two, they're going to be killed off. I wouldn't be surprised if Lexi is killed off also, but I'm kind of holding out hope that she isn't because now that they killed off Brie, she was another character that I was really like kind of getting behind, especially after the last episode. I, can't, I still can't believe that they actually killed her off, man. This show is ruthless, but yeah, another fantastic episode. Two more episodes to go, guys. I'm excited for how, to see how this whole season plays out. Hopefully you guys are as well. As always, definitely let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. If you guys can like, subscribe, it really helps my channel grow. Till next time, I am out. Enjoy your day. Peace. Well, I didn't smoke enough for you. Didn't drink enough for you. Wasn't fun enough for you. Wasn't good enough for you, Dan. You play me like a yo-yo and shit. Well, I am not.